Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is Football Thursday, Thursday, January 7th, 2021. We'll get to our free college basketball play in just a moment. First quick note, because it is Football Thursday, we release our plays at DocSports.com for the entire week ahead every Thursday during the football season. And this week, just because we're in the postseason, is no different. All of my plays will be available on Thursday afternoon over at DocSports.com. And uh, that means you're going to get a multiple game card from me in NFL wildcard action led by my next seven-star main event. My seven-star plays uh, in the NFL and in college football now on a 71-46 and 46 run going back several years. Last week, we hit the eight-star play, the game of the year in the Bulls in college with Iowa State. We cashed our top play in the NFL which was a six-star play on the Chargers over KC. And this week, again, seven-star NFL play in the wild card round leads the multiple game card for me. And then we're going to finish up strong with Monday night's college football championship. You know how well we did in the bowls? Seven and one, 88% against the spread, about $2,500 worth of profit for those wagering $100 per unit. And by college and pro football run, heading into the wild card round, we're now hitting 74% during this current run. And we're up over $5,100 for those wagering just $100 per unit. So check it all out Thursday afternoon, DocSports.com on my Handicappers homepage. Also have a college basketball play, a bailout a blowout on a Thursday night's card. And in the NBA, we're aiming for our fourth straight profitable day in the NBA. And I do have one play in tonight's pro basketball over at DocSports.com. So it's all available on my homepage again at DocSports. Let's get to our free play uh, for today. We're turning to college basketball action. I've been asked many times over the years when I do radio shows, what can I do if I'm working a full-time job and I don't have a lot of time to spend handicapping all the teams in college basketball, all the games you get on a daily basis in college basketball. And my advice has never veered from this. In fact, I used it myself when I was a young guy breaking into the sports betting industry. Uh, you find yourself an under the radar conference. You know, for me, uh, back in the late 80s, early 90s, uh, when I was first getting into this in a professional manner of betting games, I chose the Missouri Valley, and we were able to have a little bit of an edge in the Mo Valley. It wasn't that popular at the time, and that's what I stuck to for a couple of seasons uh, before I was able to jump into and, and do it full time and, and be able to have the time to be able to handicap all the college basketball teams and games. And I still say that, man. Find yourself an under-the-radar under the radar conference where you can focus in on a certain couple of schools or all the teams from that conference that kind of fly under the radar from the general public, the books, and everything else. And you can sometimes find yourself an edge to where you can have a winning season. That's what I recommend still. The Northeast Conference, I'm setting this up because we have an under-the-radar play on Thursday in college baskets. It is the Northeast Conference. It's the matchup between LIU and St. Francis of Penn Pennsylvania. And when you look at this particular conference, I think we're getting quite a bit of value here on LIU. I've got LIU in the top three in this conference this year, while St. Francis of PA, I've got in the bottom three in this conference. Now, these teams both have not played since early December, but at least you know, for St. Francis, they were able to play five games. They went one and four. Horrendous on the defensive end of the floor, guys. Effective field goal percentage right around 295th in the nation on the defensive end of the court. And here's some of these defensive numbers. Going to read them to you real quick. Two-point percentage defense. St. Francis, through five games, has allowed 64% two-point shooting to their five opponents. That's 340th in college basketball. Uh, they're 340th on defense in block percentage. It's just one bad note after another for this team. 315th in adjusted efficiency defense. And then you've got Long Island, who's only played a couple of games thus far. They shot well in one, not so hot in the other when they split with Sacred Heart back on December 16th and 17th. But I think they're the team that you got to watch in this conference again in that top Top three. Uh, very good on the defensive end. Effective field goal percentage, 10th in the country on defense. Again, only two games so far under their belt, but I think they'll be able to employ a pressure defense, which is what they're going to. They want to play this year, at least, against St. Francis. And when you go into that pressure defense, you can also drop into a 2 2 1. I think it's going to be too much for St. Francis of PA to handle. Our recommendation is LIU uh, over St. Francis on Thursday night's college basketball slate. A little under the radar action. We'll start releasing more of those with premium plays over 
over on my homepage at DocSports.com. All right, listen, again, the star of the show for me on Thursday, my NFL package and college football package for the weekend, going right through Monday night's college football title game, and again, includes my seven-star winner in NFL action this week. And let's stay red hot on the gridiron, all right? If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. We're right back here late Thursday night, early Friday morning with our next report.